Hi my beautiful muses. Welcome back to Meg's and Mirrors. If you've not been here before, welcome. My name is Meg and I'm here to cover cruelty-free and plant-based clean cosmetics and skincare. And if you're back again, thank you so much for joining me. Please, whether this is your first time or this is a revisit, please hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to know that you like these videos. I make these videos for you so you know what products are out there, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly. Please comment below if there's anything that you wanna see that I haven't already covered, any skincare, any um, makeup lines that you want me to cover, any discussions. Um, please feel free to reach out. Today we're going to talk about a, a clean beauty revolution product called Au Natural, a, a makeup line that was designed by Ashley Prong, or Prong. I hope I'm not messing that up. I'm so so sorry, Ashley, if you see this. Um, she um, was a nuclear analyst in D.C. So hey, D.C. area. I'm in the D.M.V. area. I purchased from Amazon. Um, a sampler pack and it's called the O Natural Powder Foundation Sampler Pack. You can purchase this from the O Natural website for the same price. There's no difference. Um, the, only, the only difference that I saw is that I'm an Amazon Prime member and I got it at a um, two-day shipping. I don't know if their shipping would have been as fast if I purchased it through the um, O Natural website. So what you do is you go on there and you find out what your shade range would be. So there's, you know, your fair, your light, your medium, and your dark. I fall into the fair range. And so I ordered the fair sampler pack. The fair sampler pack comes with three of the first shades in the fair section shade range. Um, it comes with three of them. Um, I, and it comes in this cool tube, by the way. This is awesome. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this packaging? This is awesome. Um, so what you do is you open it and you can see the color. So um, the first color is porcelain. The second color, let me see if I can get it open, is biscay. Um, and then the third color, I think this is literally numbered one, two, and three. Um, is honey. Okay, so you get three in the fair range of foundations. One, two, three, and this is the mineral foundation. Now they do have a stick foundation as well, but I don't have a sample of that, I'm sorry. Um, this was $25, but let me tell you what you get. You get three foundation shades that you can mix and match, and you can kind of determine exactly what your shade would be. You also get a sample of a um, pow uh, blush, blush powder. And this shade is uh, Pink Lady. Pink Lady, it's super cute. Pink Lady is the color. And then you get a sample of their bronzer. And this shade is Kissed. Um, and I think they have darker bronzers as well, but this one, this one is the most suitable for the fair, um, fair complexion. And then you get a sample, the very bottom one is the finishing powder. Okay, so, I mean, let's appreciate this. You could take this on a trip somewhere. That is awesome. You also get a pouch, totally cute. Look at this pouch, Clean Beauty Revolution. Hashtag Clean Beauty Revolution is kind of their, their hashtag. And um, you also get, and I don't have it with me, but I believe you also get a 15% um, off or 10% off coupon with it. So when you're ready to buy the full size product, you get a discount, so that's fantastic. They are located in um, Whole Food Markets, Whole Foods Markets. So if you have a Whole Foods near you, you can look out for this, this makeup brand there. I don't know how long they've been there, um, but that is part of the makeup line in the skincare line that they actually carry at Whole Foods. Um, it's formulated without animal byproducts, synthetic preservatives, nanoparticles, 
Nanoparticles, um, let me hit on that. That's kind of like bismuth oxychloride. Bismuth is something that was commonly found in products like Bare Minerals. Um, and it is a byproduct of a metal. And it's to give it this luminous, the powder a luminous look um, on the skin. But a lot of people have sensitivities to that. And myself in particular, I do. Um, I'll tell you what I experienced and you might have experienced the same thing. Um, for me, when I used Bare Minerals way back in the day when they first came out, um, I would put it on and I would go outside and in the heat and just, you know, over warming up during the day, my pores would expand. And when that happened, um, I would get this like sharp prick all over my face, prickly feeling all over my face and itchiness all over my face. And it turns out that's a common reaction to bismuth oxychloride. So when it says um, formulated without nanoparticles, I think that's that's one of the um, ingredients they're referring to. Um, it's formulated without gluten. So if you have gluten, gluten sensitivities, like topically, um, parabens, fillers, their semi-matte powder foundation, which is what this is, a sample of, um, is 100% natural, cruelty-free, vegan, and made in the USA. So, I mean, <laughs> it can't really get much better than that. But let's just see how it applies. Um, I have opened these. Um, I don't really do bronzer, so I'm just gonna let you know in advance. I'm not gonna use the bronzer, but I'll be using um, the foundation and the blush and the finishing powder. I, um, this is a first impression. I've not used this before, so I don't know what level of coverage I'm gonna get. Um, but if you don't necessarily like the mineral foundation, um, they also have a cream foundation starter kit. Similar situation. You're gonna get um, three creams in the first shade, uh, first colors of the shade range that you select, light, medium, or dark. You're also gonna get a cream blush and a cream blonde bronzer, and then you're also gonna get their um, finishing powder. So that's kind of cool. Um, the cost for the full size semi matte powder is 32, and the full size cream stick uh, foundation is 38. The common complaint that I found with this brand is not due to the actual um, makeup, it's actually due to the packaging. Um, apparently in the past, this foundation has the powder foundation. I'm referring strictly to the powder foundation here. It has come in a jar, kind of like Bare Minerals with like a sifter top. And um, they recently formulated it um, into a pump. So it's a, it's a powder and a little pump foundation bottle. And so you pump out the powder. And a lot of people say that they wish they, could, they would go back to the original packaging um, because it's so much harder to control the quantity of powder that you're you're pumping out because it's a powder coming out of a pump um, and how much is going on your brush. So that's the only complaint that I found. Um, I had, do not have experience with the previous packaging and then these little samples here are really cool because each one of these jars has like a little mini sifter on top. So you can kind of um, adjust how much you're getting out of there and then, you know, screw the lid back on. The shade that I'm going to go with is the very lightest shade because I'm very fair skinned. Um, if it doesn't match, I probably would add in the next shade, which is Biscay, um, and give that a whirl, like kind of a half half and see how that goes. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do the, the first one, which is porcelain. And I'm just going to, it's got the little sifter in it or the little holes I should say in in it so I hope you can see that but anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out in the cap and we'll see how much coverage we can get um, if you have followed me you know that I don't really care for full coverage foundations um, I will try them for you guys because cruelty free plant-based that's my motto I don't have any sort of hatred of full coverage foundations. I mean, for me, there's like a time and a place, but I know that some people prefer to wear them every day. And so I want to test out every product that you want to see, um, especially see how it performs. So, um, so if this is not necessarily full coverage, I'm not disgruntled at all. Um, but I want to see kind of if it's buildable. All right. So I have some in the cap and this is my Eco Tools 
foundation kabuki brush um, that I use. And this is the only time that you're gonna see me use a, um, <laughs> a kabuki brush or a brush for foundation. I do not use um, brushes with cream foundations. Just FYI. All right, so there, I have some on there. And we're just gonna swirl it around. Now I have a I have a little gash right here across my under eye from where my puppy and I were playing and she slung her, her little paw up and her nail caught my under eye, so I'm not gonna get mad. Alright, so I'm swirling this around. It's very light coverage um, that I'm seeing so far, but that's fine. Alright a little tougher to get out than I thought. Well, let me just keep going here. All right, so I'm gonna put some on the other cheek. It is leaving me with a very um, soft, airbrushed look, but again, not very much coverage. And this does look a little pale for me, the porcelain does, which is highly, 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 <laughs> highly unusual because I tend to be in the very lightest shade of pretty much any cosmetic line. So that is, it's kind of, kind of cool. It would fit somebody who had a lighter shade range than me. And I do believe they have several, several colors and it's 100% natural. This has given me a very nice natural coverage. I do like this. This is, I do have dark under eyes, so I'm not using any concealer right now. I do have to say that while it is making my skin look really good, um, I feel like I feel like if I went another level of this shade, I may end up looking a little cakey. So let me try changing over to the next color in the range and look how cute and clean that is. I just like popped the top back on and I didn't spill any anywhere. Okay, so the next color, as I said before, is Biscay. So it's a little darker. Let's see if I can gear it towards the areas that need more coverage. And when I lean forward and I'm looking down, I'm looking into my mirror. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to look away from you guys. I want you to see me. I do have a um, lip color on and this is by Gressa and it is the bare shade of lip color. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now that Biscay seems to have more yellow um, tinge to it, but it seems to be fitting my complexion much nicer than the others. So, okay. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make the call right here, right now. I think I have a nice medium coverage, not full, you can still see my pigmentation, and I still, I have a bump up here, so. Um, I, I'm, I'm still seeing my skin through it, but it doesn't look bad and it's not caking, but I think that it could possibly get cakey if I want another level up, meaning another layer. And so I'm gonna stop here. I do think it looks really good. It is lightweight. My God, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. Like it feels super lightweight. I'm going to apply the Pink Lady um, blush with a little Eco Tools um, blush brush. Or actually, I think this is a mini foundation brush that I've had, so it might be densely packed. So I'm gonna try to tap off some of this here. A lot comes out. I will tell you, honestly, for a sample pack, I know $25 might sound a little bit steep. I don't think it is that steep because you can get a lot of uses out of the, the travel sample size, the shade matching size. 
I like this blush might last me forever but the blush is it's beautiful I like it it's just like a kiss of pink I like that I really like that color Ooh, I like it I like it there's no shimmer it's very matte my skin has a nice like luminous um not like flat matte that is very pretty all right so now what I'm gonna do is um I'm going to finish this off with the finishing powder and that is on the very bottom and this is just translucent it does have a hint of yellow to it and I I don't know if that's for any sort of particular reason um, maybe a brightening something like that now again I'm not wearing um, I'm not wearing any concealer so I can see where my dark circles would need a little bit of extra coverage so if I were to use this in the future which I am um, I would apply a concealer first just in those dark spots and then I would apply the foundation but this is looking this is looking beautiful um, I actually ride a um, motorcycle to work and so I like to use um, powder foundations or at least make sure I powder my foundation before I put on my helmet because it seems to hold my foundation on um, I wear a full helmet so it has the actual padding right here where when I put it on and take it off um, it will just scrape makeup straight off so I, I use a um, powder a finishing powder every day I am just gonna use my eco tools kabuki brush again and apply this and it says this is like a pore minimizing um, finishing powder and it looks like it, it tamps down any oiliness that you might have I have combination skin so I get oily um, I get oily oddly in these this cheek area right here I don't know what that's about but that's where people's pores are typically larger maybe maybe that's why maybe it's just like the sebum over the day I don't know but I will tell you that this is giving me a nice airbrush look. I mean, what do you think? I think it looks airbrushed. I'm definitely digging it. This is looking pretty good. So this is the Eau Naturel. Again, I'm not gonna use the bronzer, but it, the, the sample pack, um, the starter pack, sample pack, whatever you wanna call it, shade matching pack, it actually comes with a bronzer. Um, this would be cool like to throw in your bag and like go to the gym when you're done wash your face and, and reapply um this does not feel like it's waterproof water resistant they don't have any claims of that that i can tell yeah i don't see any claims that it's waterproof um again you can find this at whole foods if you want to go in person you can also purchase it on the own natural website and i think there's a couple other websites that actually sell this i think ulta or sephora does um, again, it, this was developed by Ashley Prang Prong, who's a nuclear analyst in DC. And I think it's so cool that like she was a local gal. Um, I'm not sure if she still is, but her and her team have come up with a very nice mineral foundation that is minus all of the yuckies, the animal byproducts, synthetic preservatives, nanoparticles, gluten, parabens, fillers, and toxins. And it is semi-matte, it is not matte. That's why my skin still has like a luminosity to it. I'm, I'm impressed. And even for me not to be wearing concealer, the scratch that I had across my under eye is like not really noticeable, so that's really cool. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments below if there are any products, skincare or beauty, makeup, whatever, that you would like me to try. And I'm more than happy to get those products and at least a sample and give them a shot. Um, I love, I love, I love my muses. I love my muses. Um, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear comments from you. If you have any questions, pitch them below. Thanks so much, i see you again next time. Mwah. Bye.